Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can improve our database performance. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to focus more on the concept side, but I'm going to use Laravel framework as an example because it has out of the box feature to improve our database perform efficiency in case of performance. And the concept's going to be pretty straightforward. So you can also use these concepts in let's say Express or if you want to use Django or Fast API for Python or Spring Boot for Java. So I'm just going to focus on the conceptual basis. So let's see what problem we have here. So here we have a problem where we have categories with 5000 of records. So there are 5000 categories and each category has lots of products. So there are around half a million products. So these half a million products like around 500 K products are distributed in this 5000 categories. Now, the distribution is very random. So I've just used, used Laravel Cedar. So it allows you to seed random data in tables. So that's why you'll see these random names over here. But at the same time, you'll see like here also random names. So that's fine. Now, what we are trying to achieve here is we want to get the list of categories and the number of products in each categories in this round bracket. Now you'll see this is a very uh, <laughs> weird looking UI where you'll see there are categories, numbers, and then there is some error messages here. So let's i'll get to the error message but let's see what we are doing inside our laravel project so here i have the category model generally with orm you have these things done very smoothly so we can have those relationships and we can have those nested collections as well so inside the category model here okay let me close this over here we have a relationship defined that each category has lots of products so in this case has many so one to many relationship and what we are doing here is through the category controller we are in getting all the categories like all 5000 categories sending all back to our blade.php here we are using a for loop so this is just a blade template syntax where you can use some php code inside the html code using for loop to render the list of categories and the associated products or the count of products in each category now this part over here i'll get to this this is mostly for pagination if you use pagination definitely we are going to use it and see if it improves any performance now that's what's happening here and there is a very beautiful package that comes with laravel which is laravel debug bar it doesn't come with laravel sorry we need to install it by ourselves so i've installed it by myself and it allows me to see the queries that are being done to database now if you notice we are making one query to get all the categories and then we are making subsequent 5000 queries to get the count of products for each category that we are getting that's because inside is our for loop we are having this for loop over here for each category because this category is nothing but an instance of the category model in this case this over here so what this thing is doing here is is going to that each category in that row let's start from id1 gonna go inside the products table where category underscore id equal to one and then get all the count or the, the the count size or a chunk size for those number of records associated with that particular category for that pro, for, for, for the particular category in that products table so 5000 queries each query reading half a million of data set so you can see like how much work it has to do so how can we improve this performance and make it as quick as possible so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to start with pagination so here I'm going to go here and say, okay, instead of retrieving all the categories, paginate it. Let's say we want to have 10 categories at one time. So let's have a chunk of categories, 10, 10, 10 kind of thing. After adding a chunk of 10, if I reload the page, asking for even 10 categories, but in that for those 10 categories, it's go inside this for loop over here. And then again, look for those half a million records 10 times because we have 10 categories and then retrieve result. So you'll see it has got to certain extent now over here and here you'll see that it has got those 10 queries and it's still a lot of amount of like lot amount of time. Like here you'll see it taking like around around 29 seconds or 28 seconds. So overall this is not efficient. So what we could do is we could eager load the data. So let's see what happens instead of loading it like this, if we eager load everything we want. So this thing is lazy loading so if we want to eager load, eager load means you load the data beforehand. The concept of lazy loading, like you load data afterwards, 
eager loading you load it before so here i'm going to say okay i want to eager load the products for each category so here i'm going to say product so this is laravel way of doing things this is to eager load in express you have sql sqlize so there you can use includes uh, in sql alchemy there is join loaded or something like that so it's just eager loading concept so here we are eager loading things and let's see if this improves performance now if we are eager loading it then we don't need to write things like this what we do is we say okay now what laravel does it when you eager load a relationship for an instance of a model or let's say for a particular category in this case it is gonna add a key inside that collection or that json you're gonna get with name products and that will be an array of all the products associated with that category so in this case i can simply say okay this is going to be a count so here i can put something like this and let's see from 28.49 how quick we get so it has become like 2.95 like literally it has become around almost one tenth of improvement so 10 times improvement i would say in the other words so 10 times we are able to achieve the performance efficiency now let's see what it is doing behind the scene so it is first making a query to get all the categories actually it is making three queries if you notice so first to get the list of categories like the total categories because it needs to see how much data to paginate per chunk like even though we are having 10 per page but it needs to know the total size so that it, it needs to know like when to start and when to stop kind of thing then here we have all the categories like to be precise first 10 categories not all the categories first 10 categories with all the data of that categories and here we are getting all the products for all these 10 categories in just one query by using in operator in sql now here you'll say okay we are saying here select star from products why do we need everything if we just need count okay now let's try to do something where we only have the count from the sql side rather than having the entire product set as well so here i could say with count and then here all i need to do is now laravel is smart here again so what it does it it creates another column with the relationship name underscore count so products underscore count so it will show me the count for all the categories so for all the categories it's going to give me the count of a product for that particular category count of products for a particular category now, if I refresh this page, you'll see it's still loading. If we stop this and try it over again, it's still loading. Okay, so we got the result in 34 seconds. Okay, we asked to count it on this database side or the SQL server side, because that's what this query says. If you notice, we are saying, okay, we are making two queries, not three this time, just two. We are saying select categories dot star. So everything from the categories and we also want to make a sub query which says count the products where categories dot id equal to products dot category underscore id as so this will be a column this this entire thing over here so right from this round bracket till this round bracket is going to be a column and we are naming that column as products underscore count because that's what we are like that's how we name it over here it's not because that's how we name it over here but we can get it from here so that's products underscore count we are getting and then we are saying from categories limit 10 so first 10 categories and then here we are seeing the count of categories now if you notice it's doing it's taking almost 34.74 seconds compared to two seconds now why is this sometimes it is faster to compute size of an array on the server rather than having it compute on the database side now this might be confusing if you notice here what's happening is we are asking to count the set of products from half a million product okay so that's going to be more costly compared to counting like just a specific set of array from the php side because when we do the previous query where we do it like with eager loading like this over here let's say we say without with just we just want with products and if we go back over here and if we just make it back to normal like this here we are counting the size of that array we are not asking our sql server engine or those sql query to count the number of products so what is what it's going to do is it's just going to use a where clause like one simple where clause get the products 
and that's going to be way faster than counting for each category even though it's under you say it might you might say it's under the wear clause only and just counting it but it's still gonna be different it just it's just the scale thing like getting records with wear clause sometimes it's way faster as you could see like 2.62 seconds compared to using wear clause and counting the records what if we can improve this performance we can make it more faster so to do that we cache the records so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use file system based caching and laravel has out of the box support for caching so here i'm going to say cache remember so okay what is this is going to do is okay i'm going to cache per request so i need request and as we are using pagination so if you notice over here if i go back to my core sorry this browser you'll see we have the page numbers here not that good looking but still we have these page numbers and when i click the page number it will take the to that particular page so if i click let's say page number three it will have question mark page equal to three something like this so we can click take this page number so here i'm gonna say dollar page equal to request query because it's inside the query and from that i want page okay then if this page is not there in the query because first time the url may not have page numbers i'm just going to say by default the value is going to be one then here i'm going to say okay the key for the cache because if it sees that someone is asking for the same cache then instead of running this function it's going to just send back the cached record and to get that it uses key for each cache so here i'm going to say page so whatever the page number is this side it's going to be page so for page hyphen one what records to send and how much time it should remember now this time is in second so let's say for four hours after every four hours i am changing the list of products for some reason like adding a new product or deleting a product something like that so here i'm going to put four into 24 that's going to give me in minute sorry it's going to give me in day so it's going to be minutes and then into seconds multiplied by 60 so for this much of time it will remember this cache and afterwards it will delete it and make another new call and then the function this function will return the data for this cache so we want to return the results that come from here so here i'm going to say return categories with products page in 8 for 10 oh, and now if we go back the first request for page 3 it's going to take around 3.56 seconds around 3 to 4 seconds okay so it take two seven two around let's say 2.73 seconds over here now see what happens if i do it again so reload boom 290 millisecond so less time now if we go for page number one let's see how long it takes so the first request by your user whosoever makes the first request will see that record in around 2.55 seconds on an average now this is on local server on production server it might be faster but as soon as another user make the same request it would be super fast so compromising one user or having one user wait is sometimes or most of the time better than having all the users wait for the same time so your one user is going to wait for let's say two seconds and then subsequently for next four hours all of these users who server visit this url will wait for only millisecond to have this record being fetched so that's how you can improve the performance of your database so just to summarize it we do eager loading we if required if you have a lot of data set then we do that calculation of uh, those data set chunk on the server side rather than doing through the sql query and third we use caching to have it more faster so that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section what strategy you are using to improve your database efficiency or database performance efficiency in whichever framework you are use, working with if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel see you in the next video till the next time goodbye